let's talk about the respiratory system. It's a really important system. As everybody knows, we need to have the respiratory system to get oxygen into our bodies. We need oxygen for our cells to be able to carry out the process of making ATP. Without it, our cells don't work and we don't work. We also need the respiratory system to get CO2 back out of our bodies because as our cells are using the oxygen, they're producing carbon dioxide and we breathe that carbon dioxide back out through the respiratory system. There are a lot of other important functions for the respiratory system as well that tend to get lost compared to the importance of transporting oxygen and carbon dioxide. They include things like promoting the flow of blood and lymph. As we saw in the circulatory system unit, it's important to be able to move low pressure lymph and low pressure venous blood back up towards the heart. And that's accomplished in part by the action of breathing that compresses the veins and lymphatic vessels pushing the lymph and the venous blood back up towards the heart. The respiratory system is also important for providing a sense of smell. When you breathe in, small molecules in the air go into the nasal cavity and bind to receptors in the olfactory epithelium at the top of the nasal cavity. And those receptors send signals up to the brain that provide our sense of smell. Most of what we tend to think of as the taste of food is actually the smell. As we chew, small molecules go up through the back of the oral cavity to the nasal cavity to that olfactory epithelium and send signals to our brain about how things taste. That's why if you have a really stuffed up nose or a bad cold where you can't breathe well, you find that your food doesn't taste very well either. Another important function of the respiratory system that's particularly important to me in carrying out my job is the ability to speak. So speech and other vocalizations are accomplished through the respiratory system. We breathe through the larynx, vibrating the vocal cords, and that's what provides the sounds that we can then shape using our lips and tongue and teeth. One other really important function of the respiratory system is to regulate pH. We talked about regulating pH a little bit when we were talking about what's going on with the circulatory system, and we can also regulate the body's pH through the respiratory system. This is really important. It's one of the main ways we have of regulating body pH. So I want to go back to an equation that we've talked about a little bit before. I already mentioned that our cells are making carbon dioxide all the time. That carbon dioxide combines with water in our cells to create carbonic acid. Carbonic acid can dissociate into hydrogen ion, that's affecting the pH, and the bicarbonate ion. So, the more carbon dioxide we have, the more carbonic acid we make, and the more hydrogen ion we have in our blood, so the lower the pH is. If we get rid of more carbon dioxide, then we have less acid and a higher pH. We can regulate our blood pH by controlling how much carbon dioxide we breathe out. If we breathe out more carbon dioxide, that means we have less acid and a higher blood pH. If we hold our breath and keep more carbon dioxide in our body, then we're going to have more acid and a lower pH in the blood. When it comes to looking at how the respiratory system works, there are two really important parts of what the respiratory system has to do. One is called ventilation. Ventilation refers to the movement of air in and out of the lungs. So getting air in and moving air out, that's ventilation. But ventilation isn't enough for the respiratory system to function. In addition to ventilation, we also need respiration. Respiration refers to the actual exchange of gases that's going on between the lungs and the blood. Getting oxygen from the lungs into the blood, getting carbon dioxide from the blood back into the lungs, that's respiration. A related term is cellular respiration. I don't want you to get confused between respiration occurring as gas exchange between the lungs and the blood and cellular respiration. Cellular respiration refers to the process where cells use oxygen to make ATP and they produce carbon dioxide as a waste product. Cellular respiration is the entire reason we need a respiratory system. We need the respiratory system to bring oxygen into our bodies so that our cells can use it in the process of cellular respiration to make ATP. And then we need our respiratory system to get rid of the carbon dioxide that was produced through cellular respiration.